looking back, where do you think Lyndon Johnson went wrong on Vietnam and, and why? Well, I think Lyndon Johnson has received a bad rap, if I may say so, from the instant historians. Uh, Lyndon Johnson was a devoted patriot. Uh, he was a consummate politician, and he was devoted to peace. The problem was that he sometimes couldn't separate himself in each of his different identities. Uh, for example, he was devoted to the great society. He knew also that he had to bring the war to a successful conclusion. But he put it very bluntly in his cut-off way once when he said uh, that uh, he didn't want to have the Congress of the United States debating that bitch of a war in Vietnam rather than the woman he really loved, the great society. And that's Lyndon Johnson, Vintage Johnson. And so what happened was he tried to have it and eat it too, as they say. Uh, he wanted uh, to have peace, uh, but he didn't want to pay the price. Uh, he wanted the great society uh, above everything else, and that he didn't realize that uh, if he didn't handle Vietnam, the great society would be uh, cast into disrepute as well. Another point that he went wrong on was entrusting some of the people he inherited from President Kennedy. Uh, some of them were good, like Dean Rusk and honorable. Others were not. Uh, uh, the problem was that uh, Johnson didn't know which were and which weren't until too late. And some of those that got us into Vietnam and then proceeded to mismanagement, uh, mismanage it carried over into Johnson. Uh, he later, in his rather earthy way, said to me once, he says, they screwed me. Uh, and I think really what he was objecting to, not so much that they screwed him, because he played pretty rough himself at times, but because he was unable to do anything about it and didn't recognize it until it was too late. And then the third thing I think, uh, I think would be summed up by something that Winston Churchill wrote in his History of the First World War, which I think was his best of his two, the better of his two World War histories, when he said a commander could either have a policy of audacity or one of what he called prudence, but he could not have both at the same time. And Johnson did not have an audacious policy, one of using that enormous power that he had together with the huge mandate he had in, with both houses of Congress to bring the war to a quick and sharp conclusion. Uh, and on the other hand, he temporized and escalated uh, on a cautious basis, gradual escalation, and then misled the country as to what was happening. All of this uh, brought him neither uh, the victory that he wanted uh, nor the peace with honor that he wanted. And it was a great tragedy because uh, Johnson was devoted to peace. He was devoted to his country.